Steelers fans, brace yourselves for a showdown on and off the field. In the ever-evolving drama of the NFL, we're diving deep into the latest controversies and conversations surrounding the Pittsburgh Steelers. But before we unravel these stories, remember to hit that like button if you're ready for a roller coaster of emotions, and subscribe for your regular dose of NFL insights. Now let's jump into the action. Now imagine this, the legendary J.J. Watt, known for his powerhouse performances, stepping up to defend his brother T.J. Watt's claim as the best defensive player in the league. J.J. doesn't hold back, and the debate on T.J.'s status takes center stage. Stay tuned to hear J.J.'s direct approach, challenging the doubters and emphasizing the importance of stats. But first, a snippet of what J.J. has to say. J.J. Watt, one of the biggest defensive stars in the NFL, doesn't hold back in defending his brother T.J. Watt as the best defensive player in the league. T.J., standing out since his selection by the Steelers in 2017, has been a consistent force. Despite this, debates persist about his position in the defensive hierarchy. J.J., during an appearance on The Pat McAfee Show, expresses his frustration with the constant discussion about T.J.'s status. He emphasizes T.J.'s impressive numbers, leading the league in sacks in multiple seasons. The Steelers' reliance on T.J., highlighted by a dismal record without him, underscores his impact not only defensively, but on the team's overall dynamics. For J.J., statistics are crucial in evaluating football players. He criticizes the reluctance to recognize T.J. as the best, pointing to his statistical dominance, including sack leadership and forced fumbles. J.J. challenges any counter-arguments, reinforcing the importance of statistics in assessing players and teams' performances. J.J. doesn't spare criticism for those who question T.J.'s greatness based on subjective or non-quantifiable factors. He argues that, in football, statistics are the fundamental metric for evaluating players and teams. His direct approach emphasizes the objectivity of numbers and the need to acknowledge T.J.'s exceptional performance in statistical terms. While the Steelers face challenges in the 2023 season, J.J. highlights the injustice of T.J. not experiencing playoff success. Despite T.J.'s remarkable efforts, the Steelers fail to translate his individual performance into significant victories. J.J. emphasizes the urgency of giving T.J. the opportunity to shine in the playoffs before the window of success closes, underscoring the importance of reversing the team's current trajectory. Hold tight because our Steelers' saga continues. George Pickens, under the spotlight for his approach on the field, faces critique from teammate Jalen Warren. It's not just about playing styles, it's about the potential risks and team dynamics. How will Pickens respond, and what impact does this have on the Steelers' already turbulent season? We're about to find out. Jalen Warren wasn't thrilled after George Pickens explained his lack of effort during a critical run. Pickens cited the injury to Texans receiver Tank Dell as the reason for his caution, aiming to avoid a similar fate. Dell suffered a season-ending leg injury, and Pickens expressed concern about potential injuries when blocking. In response to Pickens' comments, Warren expressed understanding but made it clear that he would have blocked for Pickens in that situation, emphasizing different playing styles. While acknowledging Pickens' perspective, Warren highlighted the inherent risks in football and the need to adapt to the game's physical nature. Warren acknowledged Pickens' concern for avoiding injuries, but emphasized that football inherently carries the risk of getting hurt at any point. Despite grasping Pickens' perspective, Warren indicated a difference in playing styles and reiterated that, in his position, he would have chosen to block for a teammate. Amidst media criticism and unscheduled appearances by teammates and coach Mike Tomlin, Pickens faces scrutiny for his approach. Warren, directly affected by the situation, appeared displeased. The ongoing offensive struggles contribute to overall team dissatisfaction, and Pickens must address the situation to prevent it from escalating further. While understanding Pickens' perspective, Warren stressed the importance of rectifying the situation and the potential repercussions if Pickens' actions persist. The impact on the team is a growing concern, and Pickens' approach, while possibly a form of protest, risks actively harming the team's dynamics. There you have it, football enthusiasts. The clash of opinions, the drama, and the stakes are higher than ever for the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
If you're as intrigued as we are, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell to stay updated with the latest NFL buzz. Until next time, this is your go-to spot for everything football. Cheers!